Next, the network access lists which are public and private. Network access list entries and lastly, network access list association with the subnets. Amazing right? Now you have seen how many AWS resources we must create to build our VPC. Hey there cloud enthusiasts. Welcome to our episode 8 of 2 minutes of AWS mastery series. Today, join me as we are diving headfirst into the world of cloud formation, bringing you a comprehensive guide to effortlessly deploy and manage your virtual private cloud infrastructure. So, let's jump right in and harness the full power of AWS VPCs with cloud formation. Maybe you are thinking like why should we use cloud formation to create VPC, then the answer is simple. AWS Cloud Formation allows for automated and consistent provisioning of AWS resources across multiple environments, ensuring repeatability and reducing human errors. In contrast, the AWS console is manual, making it susceptible to inconsistencies and misconfigurations. Additionally, Cloud Formation templates can be version controlled, enabling tracking of infrastructure changes, while the console doesn't natively support such versioning. Let's examine the Cloud Formation template for creating VPC. You can see the resource section contains all layer required resources and their configurations. So what we have here are section settings up VPC resource, VPC flow logs, internet gateway, VPC gateway attachment, NAT gateway resources. We also have section setting up public and private subnet A, public and private subnet B, and don't forget the four root tables wherein each root table is associated with the appropriate subnet. CloudFormation section associates the root table to the subnets highlighted on the screen. Next, the network access lists which are public and private, network access list entries and lastly, network access list association with the subnets. Amazing right? Now you have seen how many AWS resources we must create to build our VPC. Now we will go to S3 console, copy to clipboard the URL of our CloudFormation YAML file, go to CloudFormation console, then on the left pane, we can see that I created two CloudFormation stacks. We are going to create a new stack using the available template. Step 1. Create stack. Press the button create stack with new resource standard. We need to fill up the section Amazon S3 URL, paste URL copied before. Step 2. Specify stack details, here, we provide stack name to make it clean, I will provide the same name as resource name, step 3. Configure stack options. I keep all defaults, step 4. Review. We can review our settings before submitting, if everything is correct press the submit button, let's go to the events tab section, here we can see the progress of the creation of our VPC stack. Resources from Cloud Formation template will appear in Events window with status create in progress then create complete. The stack creation process took about 2 minutes. Let's inspect what we created. Go to the AWS VPC console window. We can see the Cloud's Guru test VPC with the available state. Then go to subnets window. Now we can see 4 subnets. Let's examine also public subnets A. Routing table. Default traffic with target internet gateway and network access list with inbound and outbound rules, then go to public subnets B, routing table, default traffic with target NAT gateway, network access list with inbound and outbound rules, the NAT gateway window shows details of the cloud's Guru NAT gateway, we can now see public and private addresses among other details. Remember, all parameters are exactly the same as we specify in our cloud formation template. So there you go. From examining AWS resources to creating stack and inspecting what we have created, you have now idea in making your own. By following the structured template that we have discussed, we successfully set up a comprehensive VPC with all the essential components in just minutes. Thanks for tuning in Gurus. If you found this guide on AWS cloud formation for VPC creation helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more cloud insights. See you in the next one.